We're here today at the VNA and we're playing the first interactive live performance of Fading Memories, which is a game about sharing stories, sharing memories, trying to avoid memory loss. And so we're going to invite people from the public to share some stories while playing the game. And then we have two artists, Amit and Amy, who are going to reinterpret those stories live with music and painting. I am here today to capture people's voices as they share stories and then manipulate their audio and play it back as a compositional piece. It's being affected and manipulated in a way that's evocative of a memory recall, so it sounds slightly distorted, slightly hazy, maybe a little lo-fi, just to amp up the emotional sense of memory being something historical. I am responding with paint. We can communicate a lot with just a very quick swoosh across the page like sort of the rhythm of what was happening in the memory, the feeling, whether it was a sort of anxious memory or a joyful memory, you can get a lot across with just a swoosh and a few trickles or splats. I created Fading Memories uh, while I was here at the VNA as a resident, game designer in residence, and I was digging out a lot of vintage games from the Museum of Childhood collection, and one of them in particular caught my attention, which was memory and that's a game I played a lot as a kid. And I love playing it, but at the same time I realize that it's a game that fosters kind of competitive mindset, where you, you're encouraged to hoard cards and to keep uh, secrets from, from the other players. So I wanted to turn it into a cooperative game where you play all together. Around that time that I was doing this research, my grandma died and we watched her struggle with dementia in her final years, so we watched her memories getting tangled and confused. And so I had this uh, aha moment where I found a picture of me and her playing memory just a few years ago. And so I realized that I can use this base mechanics of memory to turn this game around and making it about sharing memories, about storytelling. I really enjoyed hearing other people's stories. I thought that was wonderful. I absolutely love the fact that it's a collaborative game. It just, I think it endears you more to your um, other game players. You want to hear their stories, you want to listen and understand and be able to recall them. And uh, I think it would be like a, a really fun game to play with, with old friends or new friends. It was super fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would say uh, I prefer that than the, the memory. The real memory because it's, uh, when, if you play it with friends or whatever, like you, you go more into deeper relationship. But uh, at the same way, like as the same way, like we are playing. Also, even like random people, like if you get to play, you get to know better each other, and uh, it's, uh, it's nice. I enjoyed um, listening to all the stories of all the people who were part of the game, and at the same time, I enjoyed also listening to the music that was being um, that was being created at the same time, as well as the paintings. They were very. Um, it was. I love the collaboration between all of these different facets of this workshop. I think it's really beautiful to share your stories with people who you don't know that well, uh, all the way to people who you think you know very well, but actually, you know, a lot has happened in our past, and, and it's a really beautiful way to, to do that. It's really important that we share stories with each other in person, rather than it being a digital representation. There's something quite powerful about getting together and playing something. Kind of learning more about your fellow person through gameplay.